In this example, uh, we're going to take a couple of uh, power equations and we're going to rewrite them in logarithmic form. So let's look at this first equation uh, that tells us that 256 is equal to 2 to the 8th power. And so we want to rewrite that in logarithmic form. Uh, let's recall the basic definition of logarithms. So if we write log base b of x is equal to y, what that means in exponential form is that uh, b, the base, raised to the y power, uh, is equal to x. So here, um, we're given this exponential uh, equation, which tells us 2 to the 8th power is equal to 256. So if we rewrite that in logarithmic form, this would be log base 2 of 256. Uh, is equal to 8. And that's true because uh, 2 to the 8th power uh, is equal to 256. That's what that original uh, power equation uh, tells us. All right, let's um, take the second uh, part B here, the second example, and also write this in logarithmic form. Now, to put this in logarithmic form, I'm going to have to rewrite this radical 16, square root of 16, um, in exponential form rather than radical form. And remember, square root of a number uh, is the same as raising that number to the one-half power. So here we have 4 is equal to 16 to the one-half power. And so if I write that in logarithmic form, uh, we're going to have log base um, 16 of 4 uh, is equal to uh, one-half. And that's true because uh, 16 to the one-half power uh, is equal to 4. In other words, the square root of 16 is equal to 4, uh, which is what um, this original equation tells us. So here we have um, both of these um, exponential equations, these power equations written, expressed in logarithmic uh, form. Uh, there's the answer to the first question, and here's the answer to the second question.